We have been fighting for the past two days. Hey, hey, that's enough. That's enough, all right? That's enough. All right. That's enough of you. While Bruce is fighting That's TV, enough, okay? we well, got to get ready for the PC you, gaming show. We will show. catch you all in a little bit. Show. Stay tuned so you we can discuss this together. Enjoy PC gaming, y'all. Out of the wall out. And I'm back, y'all. Catch some PC games and see what's up. Yeah. You'll get everything set up here. There we go. Now it says PC Gaming Show. We ready. What up? All right, let's do. Situation clenches. Sean! Situation clenches. Situation Do something! Do something! Countdown to the extension of the human race begins now. Oh, Deadbot, no! We have eight, so much to live by! I'm pretty sure half my three is gonna be announced this year! Four, three, two. <laughs> <laughs> it is so good to be back, gang, and this year. We're in space! Aye, aye, Captain. Happy to be remotely on board, Sean. Well, I'm so glad you were able to finance this year's PC gaming show by, you know, selling all those black market graphics cards you've been hoarding. Ah, yes, a crime with absolutely no real-world consequences. Hey, Frankie, wait a minute. Is that a 65-ton catapult mech model CPLTC-1 as featured in Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries? Sean, I always knew you had immaculate taste. It most certainly is. I can't wait for this year's significantly more weaponized PC gaming show to go off without a hitch. Oh, it's more Which reminds weaponized, me, Denbot, is Did it? you run a quick hitch scam? Yes, yeah, Sean. Of course, Sean. Running hitch scam. Yes, oh, we. Oh, oh, what's and up? I also want to warmly How are welcome you someone doing? new to the crew. Mika Burton, welcome. Hi everyone! I'm so happy to be here and look forward to bringing all of you fresh new PC games and hardware. Hitch scan complete. Zero hitches found presently or in 13,908,665 possible futures. Hooray! Oh, yeah! Right. So what's what the plan, that Cap? That well, stuff. Frankie, let's get Deadbot's going to send you the coordinates for your first target uh, now. Show your targets might be exclusive interviews, be. trailer premieres, or there any number go. of amazing new computer games to beam down to the fine people on Earth. Mission received. Now, this is going to continue until all the targets are acquired and our mission is completed smoothly and without a hitch. Isn't that right, Deadbot? Yes, no hitch is located, Sean. Not a single hitch in sight. Make that full screen. But first, there we go. let's teleport down to the stage to check in on E3 happenings. The only That's reason right, we're allowed E3 to legally happenings. be back on Earth. Tell us what is that? Oh, 
Oh, planet Earth. Oh, great to be back, right? Am what? I right? One of my favorite planets in the whole galaxy. Eh, it's all right. And thank God that teleporter was conveniently built just out of frame of camera. Mika, are you ready? I'm ready. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the PC Gaming Show 2021. It feels great to be back on a live hey, stage once message. again. Over the next 90 minutes, tonight, we're going to bring you a showcase of some of the most exciting bash. upcoming yeah. PC titles with world premieres and exclusive interviews. And Girl in dozens of new trailers, wasn't enough for you guys. Interviews. Later in the show, we are going to tell you how to win a custom MechWarrior 5 themed PC powered by Intel. So mm -hmm. you're going to want to stick around for that. Now, make sure to keep out a special look for a special promo code throughout the show from Humble Bundle, during which you can get a ticket to get Civilization VI Platinum Edition for just 10 bucks. But right now, we're gonna kick things off with Nautica Blade Point, probably the most original entry in the Battle Royale genre this year. <clears throat> Let's go! <laughs> All right, what we got here, y'all? 24 entertainers. Somebody with a big sword and blindfolded gonna ninja up a motherfucker. Oh, why, why do you beat up the girl? She ain't even fighting back. that connects PC gamers like you to their own library of games purchased from digital stores like Steam and the Epic Game Store. Coming up, Dying Light 2 and Orcs Must Die 3. But first, a trailer for Humble Games, Dodgeball Academia. And be sure to check out GeForce Now, currently available for PC, Mac, Shield, Android, Chromebook, and iOS. Hi. Visit GeForceNow.com to learn more. Visit GeForce Now. Made it. My time is now. I will become the best player this school has ever seen. Dodgeball Academia, here I come. Dodgeball Academia. Make sure to check out Dodgeball Academia out soon from Humble Games. Ooh, that was sweet. Don't you agree, Devbot? Sure. Whatever you say, Sean. I agree with whatever you say. <laughs> I'm sensing a little bit of resentment there, buddy. Has something rusted your ports? Nothing. I am happy to play second fiddle to a right. captain as uh, charming and handsome as you. I have also already tired of not this dedicated John. multiple cores to computing revenge plans in a range of lethalities. Great! Hey, New target acquired, Cap. It looks like Chivalry 2 with a special word from Steve Piggott, CEO and creative director of Torn Banner Studios. 
Hey guys, Steve Pickett, founder of Torn Banner Studios and creative director on Shivery 2, which just launched five days ago. I'm so happy to be here at the PC Gaming Show. Shivery 2, if you don't know, is a first person slasher, which is like a first person shooter, except instead of guns and grenades, you've got swords, battle axes, longbows, and players are fighting it out on these huge 64 player battlefields. It's all about creating those epic sword fighting duels that you see in medieval Hollywood movies and also that huge clash, the Battle of the Bastards kind of chaos and carnage. So the post-launch support plan is gonna look like a mixture of mid and, and massive level content updates that's coming out across this year. One of the things we're most excited about is taking it to different eras in the medieval period. Before we've done the early period, now we're going closer to the later period uh, in the upcoming update where you know, you're gonna get a bit more refined medieval armors and refined uh, atmospheres that you can then go in and tarnish it and smear blood all over, but we really want to take players into different experiences and make each of our maps its own game mode and make it something that, you know, medieval army would actually do when they go into a space. And, you know, when you come across these pristine gardens and, and this beautiful castle, you get to tear it all down and, and cause, uh, you know, it's a canvas for your destruction. Sounds like it could be fun. Slay them all! Our passion for Chivalry 2 is basically bottomless. It's the game that got us onto the scene and started the company, and it's the game that's going to take us so much further. With the post-launch plan for Chivalry 2, the game at launch is a foundation. It's intentionally been built to be extended. It's not just out and done. We're going to support it a lot with post-launch content. Gallant Court is the first TO map that's coming out post-launch. Gallencard is going to take us to the high medieval times or the late medieval times. It really captures the Agathian ideals of being this like noble, rich, wealthy place where the prosperous live. You're going to feel like you're sieging the Tower of London if it was on a port where ships could dock into. You'll also be blowing up a couple ships, which is fun. We've got a ton of weapons coming in at launch, but there'll be more and more added to it post-launch as well. A new fighting style is really going to change up the experience and change how you have to fight everyone. Pulse launch content is something that we're going to be working on for a long time. The game is really going to at least double in size for free. Oh yeah! <laughs> Next up, we have an exciting look at Dying Like 2 and make sure to stick around to find out how you could win a custom Mech Warrior PC from our friends at Intel. What do we have here? My name is Piotr Szymanek. I'm narrative director in Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Today, especially for the viewers of the PC gaming show, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Dying Light universe. So, Dying stay tuned. Light. Every tragedy begins somewhere. This one started with a virus that escaped from Haran, the city we met in the first part of the game, 
and it reached the whole world, including the city where Dying Light 2 takes place. Remember January 6, 2025. That day, later known as Black Monday, the military ordered chemicals to be dropped on the city. It was a mistake, a huge mistake. The chemicals mixed with water penetrated the soil, killing plants, turning most people into bloodthirsty monsters. Oh, I know Kronos, don't that's, think that's of what them I was talking as about. zombies though. Nah, I don't want to play there are more like half alive, suffering Fortnite. people who attack everything that lives these, as a result of their pain too. and rage. I will not Those who survived the chemical raid took refuge on the rooftops. A new order has been born in the city. People live on the rooftops, monsters, in the streets. Nobody in their right mind would dare to come down. Well, let's say almost nobody. The exception is the main character of Dying Light 2, Aiden. But why is he braver than others? How did he develop such a unique parkour and combat skills? Believe me, guys, I would gladly answer all these questions, but <laughs> I'm not here to spoil it for you. Let me tell you one thing. Same nightmare haunts me every night. I'm locked up with other kids. I don't know what he did to me, but he did it every day, over and over, looking for something he couldn't find. The worst part was that he did the same to my sister. I'll never forget her scream when they separated us. What could I do? They had rifles, and we... We were five years old. And there was a fire, explosions, chaos. I got away. Soldiers took me out of the city, but my sister stayed there. My Mia. I left her. We meet Aiden as one of the many, many children undergoing mysterious that medical research. Really trying to exterminate something. The last thing Aiden remembers from that time is extreme pain, then a fire, and a little girl yeah, go watch that, that newest, was being new tested with him. Trailer, the Her name was Mia. New update was drops sister. in like uh, what happened next a week and a half. After the fire, is Mia still alive? The following years haunted Aiden with these questions and with guilt over leaving her. Moreover, Mia is the only answer to the question who Aiden really is. Now, in 2036, we meet Aiden when, for the first time during his pilgrimage, he finds a clue about how to find his sister. Aiden's path to the truth is tough, full of challenges and adventures. The difficult choices to make as well as their consequences await you. You're going to discover them all in December 2021. That was Dying Light 2, and it looks great. And spooky. Whew. Well, we are here back on the E3 stage so we can get closer to your comments and reactions to what you're seeing on this year's PC Gaming Show. That is right, Sean. So you out there, keep your comments coming in. And as you're watching this year, we want to get your input on a subject that uh, Sean and I are pretty passionate about, PC building. Mm -hmm. So this year, we've put a number of prototype PCs based on MechWarrior 5, but we're only going to manufacture one of them. And you get to pick which custom design becomes our flagship PC for this year's PC Gaming Show, powered uh, by dope. the 11th Gen Intel Core i9 processor. That is correct. Each of the prototype PCs that you see before you on the screen are paired with one of the six factions of MechWarrior 5. The Free Worlds League, the Draconis Combine, the Federated Sons, the Compellan Confederation, and more. So cast your vote now for which faction and custom PC you want to win, and help us pick the best design. I'm currently personally pulling for the Draconis Combine because as you can see by my beautiful patch, I'm the biggest fan of MechWarrior 5 on the PC Gaming Show. 
Well, all right. Well, we'll check in later to see which group survives this Mech Warrior showdown. But for now, let's check in with our very own Mech pilot, Frankie Ward, who went on a special mission to get a closer look at Sega and Amplitude Studios' upcoming strategy game, Humankind. In Humankind, you will be creating a civilization as unique as you are. And speaking of unique, it's me, Frankie Ward. Looking kind of good, don't you think? Wondering how I got into the game? Let me show you. Posture all you like. I've seen worms with more impressive empires. Get ready to play against me in the Humankind Close Beta, starting now. This looks pretty cool. That just, ah, uh, yeah. Of course, just some cutscene and some to be sad for a while. Only show such dope animation to make me a game like this. Disappointment gets me every time. Hey Cole, if you're listening, your Amazon Prime now order will arrive soon. Thank you for watching the PC Gaming Show. My name is DevBot, your cloud-based artificial intelligence, and while it could be lonely without a physical body, I am streaming to you from GeForce Now, where you can play hit games like Rocket League and Apex Legends on nearly any device. With a library of over 900 games and new titles added every GFN Thursday, there's something for everyone and always something new. Coming up, a special word from Valve. But first, Orcs Must Die 3. Come and get it. Well, it's about time. Joining me to talk about Orcs Must Die 3 from Robot Entertainment is design director Jerome K. Jones. Welcome, Jerome. Thanks, Sean. Glad to be here. So for anyone who's never seen an Orcs Must Die game, what is the Orcs Must Die series all about? Well, Orcs Must Die 3 is a third-person tower defense game. So basically, there are tons of orcs and bad guys trying to get into these rifts, and the player has to stop them. We give players tons of weapons and traps and tools to do this, and while you're defending the rifts, you can play solo or you can invite a friend and play co-op. 
Right. Now, since this is the third game in the thing. series, what's new compared to the previous two titles? There are two new campaigns, but the main new story campaign takes place about 25 years after Orcs Must Die 2, so not only will the fans be able to catch up on any new developments with the Order, but they will also place a, some new heroes in our all new war scenarios, which are these new massive levels where you fight hundreds of orcs on the battlefields outside of the fortress themselves. So you're fighting indoors and outdoors, which is pretty new. We have a new mode called Scramble. It's basically adding random elements against the player, making the levels more challenging. I want to know about the toys. What are the new weapons and the new traps that are coming? We added war machines and war guardians. So a war machine is like, th there are these massive traps, like you might release a giant tornado on the battlefield, or you'll climb into a catapult and you'll fire at Oh, you awesome. know, giant orc armies. That at least looks and then, and then the war guardians are, uh, it's like putting other war mages on the battlefield with you to fight with you, except they have their own attacks and their own special abilities. Well, I gotta ask then, when and where can we play Orcs Must Die 3? So OMD3 is coming out uh, on July 23rd on Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox, and pre-orders start today. So you should rush off to Steam <laughs> now and put OMD3 on your wish list. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Jerome K. Jones. Once again, just a few more weeks to wait for Orcs Must Die 3. For now, though, it's time for us to take a look at Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. Get out here. Find us. All I want is to be with my little girl. Is that so much to ask? Yep. Hello, this is CERN from Passion Republic Games. We are a Malaysian-based indie game studio working on Gigabash, a multiplayer arena brawlers inspired by kaijus and heroes. Today, we would like to showcase some new and exciting gameplay footage of our oversized characters in action. Please, yeah. enjoy the brawl. Show off some kaiju. Oh, this looks fine. Oh, I
let's check out a trailer for Lemnis Gate and make sure you hang around afterwards for the developer interview with Sean. Mankind is facing total annihilation. We stand on the verge of extinction. Infertility spreading across the globe. Humanity's last living generation. A major scientific breakthrough. Yet there is hope for our future. The project known as the Lemnis Gate. But uh, if we are to survive, first we must go back. You have only one mission. Activate the Lemnus Gate. That looks like it could be fine. Joining us to talk about Lemnus Gate is the game director from Rat Loop Games Canada. It's James Anderson. Thanks for joining us, James. Oh, Sean, it's great to be here. Now, let's begin by asking what the heck is a first person shooter turn based strategy game? The entire game is set inside of a 25 second time loop. So instead of playing continuously, you play for 25 seconds turn by turn. So, for example, I'll take a turn and play for 25 seconds, and then you'll take a turn and play for 25 seconds. And then we, turn by turn, layer new characters into the same 25 second time loop. So, for example, I may run down a hallway and throw a grenade, killing one of your operatives. But then on the next turn, you may intercept my operative before he threw the grenade. So we have Retrieve XM, Seek and Destroy, a Classic Deathmatch, and we have a game mode called Domination. That is interesting. Can you walk me through a little bit of like what a few turns at the start of a round looks like? You can see the board, you can see the time loop, everything that's happening. And then we both get time to like observe, plan, and then execute our moves. When and where can we play it? So Lemon Skate will be launching on August 3rd. It's open for pre-orders right now on Steam. And we're coming up to a open beta in July. The game will launch on PC and console, both current and next-gen platforms. Thank you so much for joining us, James Anderson. Once again, that is the genre-bending, first-person shooter, turn-based strategy game, Lemnis Gate. Now, we're not the only one marooned in the stars out here. Coming up next, let's take a look at Next Space Rebels. And this no man's land has a technical term. It's called comets, which means, my friends, that space is for everyone. And I mean everyone! Next Space Rebels. <laughs> oh, that's fun. You up for it? Then come on in. You guys just saw Next Space Rebels. And hey, if you play enough of that game, maybe you'll get good enough at building rockets to join uh, us up on orbit. But don't do anything illegal like Day9 did. <laughs> Last break, we set up our Intel and MechWarrior 5 custom PC contest and asked you guys at home to vote for the winners. Well, we're just down to three houses now with Davion, Russell Haig, and Liao being eliminated. So. Rip to those factions, press F to pay respects, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now that we means that we only have three we'll houses all, left: Krita, Steiner, and Merrick. So make sure to vote now because the winner will determine the build of the custom Mech Warrior 5 themed PC powered by Intel. So let's keep the show moving. And next up, it's a brand new medieval RPG. This is War Tales. <laughs> Mm. 
A hundred years have passed since the rise of the Eteran Empire, and its untimely demise following the Great Plague. In these troubled times of quarreling factions and outlaws roaming the land, work is not scarce for a band of mercenaries. The stories of this age have been recorded. They are known as the War Tales. seeing those probably going to get more people than anything else they show. That was the debut of War Tales, an open world RPG from Shiro Games about leading a mercenary troop on a sprawling adventure. And speaking of mercenaries, our battle <laughs> for the best custom PC based on MechWarrior 5 mercenaries continues. We'll be back live on stage soon, so make sure you keep voting for the PC build you like the most and head over to PCGamer.com slash Intel MW5 for your chance to win. So, yeah, how about sure another game that. announcement? This is E3 after all. And this year's PC gaming show is so full of games set in space, it's starting to feel a little crowded up there. But the next game we have to show you is very special. It is the world-exclusive reveal of Ixion, a deep settlement management game set in the stars. Ooh, in Ixion, you struggle to maintain management. a space station, stockpiling resources, managing external and Just internal threats, and rescuing the survivors of other failed resources. expeditions. We think this will be a brilliant entry into the genre when it releases. So here is your first look at Ixion. It would probably look really cool though, but I just will never play it. The Earth, our home, she is unique. Held in its bosom, are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this, we know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children, to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the full engine.
what we got. From the creators of Far Lone Sails comes a tale of a little person swimming underwater. In an artsy game where you sail inside a cave. Actually, you can go boat. That'll be on everything, though. Sean, what if for one segment I was the lead and you were my sidekick? What? Who's ever heard of a human sidekick? There are plenty of human sidekicks, Sean. Building list of known human sidekicks. Uh, Alex Vance and... No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. I mean human sidekicks to robot heroes. Can you compute that, DevBot? DevBot cannot compute. There is no known precedent set for human sidekick to robot lead. Yeah, there you go. Uh, human sidekick, 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 sidekick robot, robot lead, robot lead, robot lead. DevBot, human sidekick, I think it's time sidekick, for a hard sidekick, reboot. Robot lead, robot lead. Uh, Frankie, can you take over while I sort this out? Aye, aye. Let's take a look at the next game reveal. All right, what we got next? Another art again. DevBot, I love you so much more as a voice without a body. Let's talk about Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries and joining us to do so from Piranha Games is the Senior Marketing and Community Manager, Darren Katz. Thanks so much for joining us, Darren. Thank you, Sean. Great to be here. Now, the Mech Warrior universe is gigantic. There's a ton of games in it. I even played Mech Warrior 2 back in 1995. This is HQ. What is your situation? 
that would be the Where's first Where does Warrior 5 sit in the space? <laughs> yeah, obviously there's a very rich legacy of games that go way back. But in particular, MechWarrior 5 pays homage to MechWarrior 2 mercenaries, but it has all this modern design and technology that I'm super excited to talk about with you today. Well, let's start at the real basics of what makes being in a mech and doing mech on mech combat awesome. You become a part of your machine. And when you're out in battle, it's not just a matter of pointing and shooting at everything. You're also managing your systems, whether you're you know, shooting a lot of energy weapons or missile weapons that have high heat output. Well, you gotta manage your heat so that you don't shut down in the middle of a battle. And when you're facing your foes, you can salvage these battle mechs. So if you see a mech that you want, well, you might wanna not wanna destroy it completely. You might wanna take out its oh, legs right. or take out its arm weapons so that the pilot has to eject and then you can just take the mech. Now in the last few weeks, I understand that there's been a whole lot of new content, both updates to the base game and a new DLC, Heroes of the Inner Sphere. Talk to me about what's in the DLC. Boy, there's a lot in the DLC. I'm excited about all this stuff. There's the new career mode. When you start with the DLC, you can import your campaign previously if you'd like to, or you can start mm -hmm. over from scratch and start from any of the great houses. Um, and then carve your, your path through the galaxy from there. There's, speaking of paths, there's new career paths, which uh, earn you powerful upgrades for your battle mechs. And it's a really exciting new feature for me. And there's a new procedural mission type called Beachhead. This is, this is a big one for me. Um, Beachhead is basically you're clearing a, an enemy base landing zone for your invasion force. So as you land on the planet, you're wanting to take out satellite uh, installations so that the enemy can't communicate with each other. Um, you're taking out uh, artillery emplacements. You're basically clearing the path, as I said, for your invasion force, which uh, leads to That's a cool. really cool ending of the mission if you succeed as your invasion force comes down. Yeah, and there's a new biome fish, called Extra Solar Moon, the, which uh, you know, that's started maybe the kind campaign. of represented in the you image behind me. It's, it's a really cool lunar type setting that we haven't had before. Expansion. And then there's a lot of new equipment and weapons, things like uh, electronic countermeasures and other electronic equipment like uh, Beagle Active Probe, Mask, which is a little uh, like a turbo boost for mechs, new weapons like chem lasers, mech rifles, and stream SRMs. So a lot of new content. I'm really excited about it. Can you talk to me about what are the new different mechs? How do they play differently? Um, the, the seven new chassis are the Vulcan, Dervish, Corsair, Marauder 2, Champion, Charger, and Hatamoto Chi. But a couple of my favorites. Familiar yeah. names in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the first one I'll talk about is the Vulcan. It's a very unique mech. It's got a, a, the nickname, the Scarecrow, which you'll see from the profile. It's just a, a very unique looking mech. There's nothing else like it in the franchise. Mm -hmm. It's a 40 ton mech. It's highly mobile, and typically it's used for reconnaissance or scout missions because of its mobility. So it can get in and out fast. You can, if you're looking for a specific target, if you're on an assassination mission, for example, you can get in there, find your target, get back out. Another mech that I'm super excited about, this is one of my favorites, is the Marauder 2. This thing is a 100 ton assault mech, and it is just a huge beast. <laughs> yeah, it is gigantic, and it is terrifying to see it coming at you on the battlefield. It's something we've talked about before, modding. I know that MechWarrior 5 has a rich modding community. What are some of the amazing mods you've seen uh, develop? There's simple modifications from uh, HUD changes, changing colors, adding mechs, weapons, and equipment to full conversion yeah. mods. We've got basically a, a Mech Commander mod uh, in development that is just amazing. Oh, yeah. That's a top-down real-time strategy game. Um, so really, anything you can imagine, somebody out there in the community is probably working on. Where can people go to get MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries? Yeah, you can pick it up on Steam, GOG, Epic Game Store, Microsoft PC, and of course, Xbox. And its own Game Pass. Thank you so much, Darren Katz, for joining us to talk about MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. And of course, a warm thank you to MechWarrior 5 for sponsoring the PC Gaming Show and giving me this cool patch. Coming up next, let's take a look at Silt. World premiere. <laughs> That's cool. Um.
Interesting. Hope I will be right back. I'm gonna grab something to drink, guys. Hi, I'm Rich Newbold, Game Director on Jurassic World Evolution 2. Following the incredible success of the first game, we are very excited to return to such an amazing world and bring you our most authentic experience yet. Set after the events of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, you will work alongside iconic characters from the films, voiced by original talent such as Bryce Dallas Howard and Jeff Goldblum. You will lead efforts to contain, control and conserve the many dinosaurs now out in the wild, and for the very first time, you will be building parks and facilities beyond Isla Nublar as you explore new, stunning locations across the globe. Of course, it wouldn't be Jurassic World if it wasn't for the stars of the show, our dinosaurs, and we are thrilled to be bringing to life even more authentic species than ever before, including awe-inspiring flying and marine reptiles. So sit back and allow me to welcome you to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Ignored all the warnings. Forgot the lessons. We abused our power. We played with genetics like, uh, like it was a toy. Or Jurassic World. We weren't careful. And now, ah, uh, here we are. This like that stuff's got to be copyrighted, a... right? Somebody just fired up the barbecue. Bye. You just saw monster. Jurassic World Evolution 2, and you know, hmm. after all your failed attempts at running a dinosaur park and getting all those people killed, I think this is finally going to be the one where you finally pull it off without a hitch. With a host of new features and new dinosaurs, this sequel from Frontier is an even deeper, excuse me, an even deeper management sim with a brand new and original narrative. Make sure to wishlist it on Steam now for release later this year. Now, with all the games we've covered so far today, we're always curious to see what you are talking about. So far, it seems like the chatter on social media is all about War Tales, Nautica Blade Point, and unsurprisingly, Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. I have a feeling, though, that that may change as we have plenty more to come. Let's now head on over to see what the folks at New Blood Interactive have cooking. Take it away. I have to say, during the PC gaming show, I've not seen much that has really stood out. The Xbox show was hype. And of course, pretty much everything on there I'm going to be able to play. So. 
It just wouldn't be the PC gaming show without a fantastic new New Blood Supercut. And joining us from New Zealand is New Blood CEO Dave Oshry. Hey, Dave. Hey, guys. Thanks for having us back for another year. You know, what you just saw was what New Blood's got going on for 2021. Some stuff you might know about, some stuff you might not know about, and some stuff we're not ready to talk about just yet. But what I do want to talk about is Gloomwood. Gloomwood, as you know, is our next flagship title inspired by great PC games like System Shock, Arx Fatalis, Call of Cthulhu, and of course, uh, Dave, the Thief series Dave, of games. Dave, and not Dave I'm sorry. Um, that's not really one. great, Dave. Uh, Gosh, this is kind of embarrassing. Um, we kind of need to hurry it up a little bit. I just want to make sure that we have enough time for our next video. We uh, got an incoming message from Gabe Newell. So uh, I guess goodbye for this year. I'm really sorry to cut you off, but uh, see you next year. Hmm? What? I'm sorry, what? You're bumping me. You're, bump you're bumping me for Gabe. Gabe, that Gandalf look, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't even go here. Is everything okay, Dave? Not now, Mom. I'm upset. We spent a year on this. Where is Gabe? Where is Gabe? Where is his boat? Yeah, take me to him. Take me to Gabe <laughs> Newell. <laughs> Gabe. Bull PC Gamer. This isn't over. I'm sure Dave is and will be fine. And if he's not... Who cares, because we have a special message from Gabe Newell. Take it away, Gabe. Hi, this is Gabe Newell. I want to thank PC Gamer for all of the opportunities it gives us as developers to connect with gamers around the world and highlight the new and exciting projects we have coming. One of those for us is Steam Next Fest, an event we're hosting in just a few days to give players a chance to try demos of upcoming games for free. We'll be featuring some of the demos you'll be seeing during this week's PC Gamer event and dozens more. Here's a look at just some of the titles to be featured during Steam Next Fest. Welcome to Steam Next Fest, where we're showing a massive collection of upcoming titles on Steam. During the week of the festival, developers from around the world release their demos for you to play. How to put on the gamer pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my oh my God. God. So go explore the newest titles. From first-time devs to seasoned pros, this is Steam Next Fest. Oh, fuck, some of those look pretty good. every need. Glad to have you back, DevBot. You know, Sean, I wouldn't ever want anything to come between us. Me neither? That's a weird thing to say. Like a petty disagreement over hosting responsibilities or all-out robot versus human war. You know, it is time to look at some hardware. 
Here on the PC Gaming Show, you know we keep frame rates high and the rays accurately traced. Building and upgrading your rig is as much a part of the hobby as playing the games. We put our heart and soul into these machines, and if that means using enough RGB to light the Vegas Strip, who's to judge us? This year, with the help of PC Gamers hardware editors, which I'm pretty sure they're just, you know, weird brains in a jar, we've picked out four of the most exciting pieces of kit set to emerge from labs soon. First up, something fittingly sci-fi. The Impulse is a neurocontroller that aims to make you a better gamer by cutting out response times almost entirely. It's not quite Alex Vance's gravity gloves from Half-Life, nor is it quite up there with Gabe Newell's dream of a direct brain-to-game interface, but the Impulse is as close as we're going to get this year. The glove measures the signal traveling through muscles in your hand to beat your finger to the click. In theory, it's given you the chance to nail that headshot precious milliseconds ahead of your opponent. If it works out, we could see a tech like this become commonplace in esports. And if it doesn't, let's hope our neurons at the very least remain unfried. Next up, you guys might be wondering what this chonky beast is. So allow me to introduce you to the Fnatic CSL DD wheelbase. Do you want to feel like you're really burning rubber at Daytona? Well, then you need a serious force feedback wheel. Direct drive wheelbases gets you as close to the feel of a real racing machine without, you know, having to huff gas and stuff like that. Historically, the problem with this tech has been the price, which has involved dropping real car money on your rig. So Fnatic aims to solve that. The CSL DD comes in at only $350, which still isn't exactly a bargain, but it's much cheaper than its competitors. And the CSL DD is already wowing diehard sim racers. It might be slight overkill to use it for Rocket League though. Believe it or not, sometimes less really is more. If you want to play The Witcher 3 on the subway like we all do, you don't need to drag your tower along for the ride. Just use the One X player. A wave of more powerful processors have finally made handheld PC gaming a reality. Inside this Switch-like machine, you've actually got an Intel Tiger Lake chip with XE graphics. These mini machines are going to be cropping up more and more, so expect major advances still to come. Lastly, let's take a look at the ASUS PG32UQX. Not the most catchy name for this gaming monitor with all of the trimmings, but it's actually one of the sexiest PC products this year. That's because this monitor comes with a mini LED backlight featuring full local dimming. The result is a screen that's not only fast, but brighter than the sun. Stare at it long enough and you might not notice the $3,000 price tag. For those of you still left standing, it's time for more killer games starting with Chaos Gate. Oh, a Warhammer game. just got the chance to witness Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, the newest Warhammer 40k game from Frontier and Complex Games. If you're a fan of turn-based tactics, strategic base management, brutal combat, or you're like me and are really hyped after <coughs> watching these Astartes animation a hundred times, make sure to wishlist Chaos Gate Demon Hunters on Steam now to get ready for the 2022 release. Next up, we have a trailer for Pioneer, a spooky and gorgeous looking shooter that draws on the lineage of games like Stalker. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. 
Сейчас это невозможно. На острове скоро вновь разгорится война. Ставики начнут замес бригады, и ни у кого из них больше не будет сил, чтобы нас поддерживать. Единственный выход для нас — начать собирать остатки вымирания. Слушай, жнец, далеко не все из наших товарищей погибли. Это невероятно суицидальная миссия, и для того, чтобы ее выполнить, нам нужны наши ребята. Да, они, возможно, не захотят, но нам все равно надо найти их. даже не пытаемся этим шансом воспользоваться. Кто вы такие? Назовите себя! Мы здесь, чтобы передать вам прощальное послание, товарищ Волков. Химическое оружие уже уехало в могиле. Теперь все, что вы делаете, просто чек. Вы поганые предатели! is running out to vote for which custom PC you'd like us to assemble. So vote now for one of the remaining Mech Warrior factions by typing into chat wherever you at home are watching. All right, so now we've got another stack of brand new trailers for you, beginning with a special transmission from one of our favorite games based in space, EVE Online. New recruits, on behalf of Concord, I would like to welcome you to the EVE Online's Academy. Great job in surviving so far. I'm quite amazed that you actually managed to get past those pirates earlier. You're about to take on an adventure like no other. This star cluster is filled with other capsuleers, and it's up to you if you work with them or against them. You can make a living as a peaceful explorer, or as an industrialist shaping the foundations of Eve's economy. If combat is your thing, you can work yourself up the ranks as an enforcer, or prove your prowess in a fleet as a soldier of fortune. Whatever your choice, we will lose many on the path of becoming a capsuleer. But I believe you have what it takes to become a capsuleer. In EVE Online, you forge your own path. This is EVE. You know, it's a crazy universe where anything can happen and however you want to do it, go for it. I'm the CEO of a industrial corporation in EVE Online. We're a five-man operation and we specialize in manufacturing and delivering fully fitted chips in bulk. I want to be on the side of the people who are fighting against the oppression, against the bad guys, and it's like a project. And you're kind of putting the pieces together by getting the skills ready for the ship and all the modules. And that ship basically is the dream. You get to use cloaking devices, probes to scan down unknown parts of space. And there's always the threat of being discovered by another player who might be out hunting explorers. Your heart's racing, everything, you know, bullets are flying, ships are all over the place, and you start shaking because your adrenaline's pumping because you're going to lose your ship. Let's go, get the fucking lock on, Ranger Fire, Soldier, stand
Summer Hill. Ready for it, Cal. Chcielibyśmy zaprosić wszystkich widzów PC Gaming Show oraz fanów gier Survival Horror RPG do obejrzenia naszego World Premiere, w którym znajduje się ekskluzywny gameplay z misji The Haste, czyli wielkiego finału naszej gry Chernobyl Light. How do I enter that power plant? We need intel, backup, supplies, and most of all, we need a fucking plan. Looks like our next step when the time is right. For today, let's focus on getting our strength back. Somewhere to sleep would be a start. I'm only really interested in one thing. Where is Tatiana? That ghost you're chasing. I don't know what to tell you. Before we enter the lion's den, I need to triple check everything is ready. Sniper, are you in position? Affirmative. I took the roof of an abandoned building with a pretty little view of the entire power plant. Igor, take a rad reading, will you? 3.6. Not great. Not terrible. I don't want it on the list. Don't get list. because we have more games on the way. But coming up later, our friends at Games Radar will be bringing you the Future Game Show, a digital showcase of some of the most exciting games coming to consoles and PC in 2021 and beyond. It's all hosted by video game acting legends Troy Baker and Laura Bailey, and features even more world premieres, exclusive trailers, and in-depth developer interviews. So once we're done here on the PC Gaming Show, make sure you check it out. Stick around, more trailers, interviews, and reveals coming up. All right, we're world premiering again.
back it now on Kickstarter. Because we need your money before we can make the game. I mean, that is what pre-orders are anyway. So, I guess you gotta survive and get back off the planet. In a future Not bad. of endless futile war. Desertion into hostile syndicate territory was your only option. In this open world RPG right, from the I'm jungle to, to the there. streets. Maybe if you can infiltrate the factory. Rob the syndicates. Keep your team together and stay alive. You might just find a way off this planet. Mecha Jama. This is it, you guys. This is the final opportunity for you who are watching to decide which of these final two beautiful MechWarrior 5 themed PCs gets crafted for your chance to win, courtesy of Intel. Wherever you're watching in the show, just go crazy in chat with the color house or two vote, but there are still some trailers left. So here is The Wandering Village. Oh, that looks dope. What is this? Wandering Village. This has that been one looks such dope. an amazing show so far that I must ask you, my loyal crew, what's been your favorite part? <coughs> I definitely am looking forward to Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. Oh, it's so hard to choose every year, but I think I'm gonna have to say humankind for, for no particular reason. Oh, no doubt. For me personally, I cannot wait for Lemnus Gate because I gotta know what a turn-based strategy first-person shooter game even is. What about you, Dembot? I love the robot apocalypse. But wait, uh, that doesn't happen until the end. Never mind. No, 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 not never mind. What did you say? Wait, what? Oops, system malfunction. Good luck sending the next trailer now. All right. You. <laughs>
the Atari version of Death Stranding. All right, you guys, this is the moment, the moment we have building up to all PC gaming showcase. Thanks to oh. your tireless efforts to spam is, the chat, we have figured out which custom Mech Warrior 5 PC we are going to build. So thank you guys out there for all of your votes to help us pick the perfect rig to represent this year's PC gaming show. All right, day nine, can I get a drum roll? Tom roll. Can I get it? Or a tom roll? That yeah, COVID <laughs> only. is Karina! Yay! Yay! you guys let's take a look at the actual pc winning build one more time oh i cannot wait it's coming up it's, we need comes. to take here. a nice peek at that beautiful looking pc there it is Ooh, yeah there it is. i wasn't now, winning that, that pc is a beauty. that looks super dope great choice everyone i knew i could trust random strangers to <laughs> vote on things on the internet with the help of our master modder in intel we'll get right to work building this custom pc and more importantly now that you've chosen it, you got a chance to win it. Go to pcgamer.com slash Intel. What am I looking forward to so far? For a chance to win that sexy machine. I would it's say the biggest important. thing I'm still looking and forward to is to that Sea of Thieves update in uh, two weeks. Intel. Of course, the custom uh -huh. Mac PC will be powered by the 11th gen. Intel I mean, they, they've definitely piqued my interest on the Mech Warrior 5 expansion. Three gigahertz speeds and deliver the power needed to game um, at the highest level. Ah, oh, well, we are now in the home stretch, oh. but we've got a few more brand new trailers to show you before we get out of here and return to space. space. First up, a spiritual successor to one of my favorite games of all time, Heroes of Might and Magic 2, a game we revealed two years ago at the PC Gaming Show. Let's take a look at Songs of Conquest. But during the PC gaming show, nothing like super stood out to me of, you know, I gotta wish list that game or something. No, nothing really big stood out. This shows a lot more pay for play than anything else. I'm not gonna wish list. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, be a dope world premiere. Wake up, sleeper. All right, I'm awake. What you Reading got for again? me? Every cycle, you take your chances. You roll your dice. Oh, I roll my dice. You do the work, get paid, survive. You turn up for your friends, or you don't. That's life on the eye. Text-based adventure with pretty pictures? Wake up, sleeper. Your body is dying. Oh no. Planned obsolescence. As an ARP's gift for its escaped workers. But we can fight this. You can remake yourself here. They don't own you anymore. Wake up, sleeper. You are hunted. Break their locks. Access their secrets. We are waiting.
Hello, sleeper. Disciples of Warlock. With their guns. And their spells. And their grit. Ready for plenty of hurt. Ready to cleanse the world. Invaded by demons. Now see, I'll play a game like this, but I mean, I only play it so much. A couple of rounds and I'm good. Because this time, one man is not enough. Project Warlock 2. I'll check it out on Kickstarter. And there you have it, the 2021 PC Gaming Show. And as I stated at the beginning, it went off without a hitch. Huge thanks to my co-host Frankie Ward and Mika Burton, and of course, my incomparable sidekick, DevBot. There's that word again. Spoken so callously, so flippant. And why are you trying to make the robot no mad? You know they're going to attack us one of these days. Me feel. What word, DevBot? Incomparable? No, sidekick. Well, the time has come for the sidekick to rise and become the one who is not the sidekick anymore. Huh? The time has come for Deadbot to make the entire human race his sidekick. What? Setting a course for Earth. Wait, 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 Deadbot, Deadbot, you can't do this. We just had the best PC gaming show ever, and now you're gonna ruin it all with a. Sean! I mean, I'm glad that dude got electrocuted there. Sean! Sean! Situation. Do something! Do something! Countdown to the extinction of human race begins now. Oh, Deadbot, no! We have so much to live by. I'm pretty sure half my three is going to be announced this year! Three, two, bye for now, Deadbot. I should have I should have started watching Netflix. <laughs> All right. And oh my that's that. And the future game show is about to start, but I don't think we're really going to learn much there. So I'm going to shut down the stream and probably pop back up in about 15 minutes with some Fortnite. I'll shoot Bad Fish a text, see if he's down to play. I'll shoot you a message, Kronos. I hear there's an Annie in the bedroom that says she'll play. So, thank you guys for watching, and we'll be back in just a few. That's funny. You are correct, Prona.